Hi, I'm Dr. Pierce, and welcome to this video on how to use Google Sheets to plot y-axis error bars on your graph. In this example, I'm going to show you uh, how to use uh, the standard error of the mean values to, uh, as y-axis error bars. So the the data that we're going to use for this comes from an experiment that was done off the coast of Jakarta in Indonesia. There's a series of islands out there called the Thousand Islands, which I'm sure there's not a thousand out there. But what we were trying to do was to simply answer a, a, a relatively simple question. Is there a difference between the snail length on Sipa and Putri Islands, which are two of the islands that are out there? So what we did was we collected a number of snails from Putri Island and measured them with calipers. And then we did the exact same thing with a sample from Sipa Island. So let's, uh, let's go to the data. So here we have the data here. Uh, you've got snail length uh, from the, uh, of a number of different snails from the two islands. And so in order to plot all this, we need to do a couple of calculations. So we're going to first calculate the average of the SEPA snails, close bracket, and there's the there's your average value. Um, in order to calculate the standard error of the mean, we also need the standard deviation. So it is STDEV, and again, of the same data sample. Note that you don't include the average value on that, just the raw, the raw data. So there's your standard deviation. And then we're going to do uh, the sample count. Now here you can just type in 15 snails if you want, but instead of doing that, uh, because that's going to that's gonna make it difficult to drag the information over, I'm actually going to count them by typing in um, an equal sign and then count A. And in the bracket we're just going to do we're going to put these values once again, just the raw data, and you'll see that you've got 15, 15 samples in. That's what the equals count A uh, function will do for you. Uh, the sample square root then is simply equals the square root, SQRT, of this value here. So we're taking the square root of the sample, which is that. And then finally, we need to calculate two times the standard error of the mean. And if you recall, the standard error of the mean is simply the, um, so we're going to do equals two times. And then the uh, sample error of the mean is simply the standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. And there is our standard error of the mean times two. So uh, that's for SEPA Island. And then because we did all these using uh, calculated functions on the spreadsheet, we can simply drag it across over here. And we have the values for Putri Island. So uh, now we're ready to make our graph. And what we want to do is we want to plot the islands and the averages. So you hold down the command key and bring it over there. OK, now you come up to the insert chart and you get something that looks like this. Now this is not exactly what I'm looking for. So there's a couple of things that uh, you have to change. The first thing is you go under here and change uh, the uh, combined ranges to vertical, which is still not really what you want. And then down below here, there's a number of checkboxes that you have to kind of play around with uh, and just see if you can find what you're looking for. So for example, I do not want to use the column B as labels. I want to use the row two as headers. And this now is what I, what I want. I've got my islands up here in the legend. The only thing that I don't like is the way the horizontal axis is. And I can change that quickly by uh, clicking on the horizontal axis, or the vertical axis, sorry, and changing my minimum value to 0. And that's the graph that I want. So what I've done here is I've gone ahead and added a title and some access labels to my graph so we don't have to fiddle around with that. But when you're faced with the graph and you want to change something, what you need to do is click on these, highlight the graph and click on these three dots and go to edit chart. So you've got two tabs up here. The data tab we've already dealt with. We've got the graph we want. We know what we've plotted. But I want to go under customize. And that's where you can add your chart titles and your your access titles and mess around with the series and the legend. But what I want to do is I want to add error bars to my graph. 
So you do that under series and you add the error bars, click an error bar, and it asks you what you want, what kind of error bar you want. Um, I want a constant value for my error bars and I want those to represent the two SEM. So in the case of SEPA Island, I want to have 0 0.107. So in order to do that, I have to go under all series and I have to choose SEPA Island. That's the one I want to do. And I want that value to be 0 0.107. And so that's good. If it wasn't there, I'd just have to type that in. Okay. So that's all good. Then I need to do it for Putri Island as well. And this time I want um, 0.165. And again, normally this value isn't in here. You would have to type that in yourself. But once you do that, um, you can see that the values are, are slightly different. The error bars are a little bit smaller here than here, and you're good to go. With sheets, you can only do this with a bar graph. Um, I've tried and I can't figure out how to do it and I've been told you actually can't do it uh, with an XY scatter plot which is a little bit frustrating so if you need to do this with an XY scatter plot Microsoft Excel is going to be your best bet. Uh, so that's how you add standard uh, error of the mean error bars to your graph but only your bar graph. Hope that it was helpful. Thanks for watching.